life as an empty nester. Life as an empty nester. I've been now an empty nester two going on. This is my third year. How has it been? Or what is it like? What am I going through? How am I dealing with it? Once the initial period of grief and adjustment is over, the question remains, what does it mean to find your purpose in this emptiness? I had to ask myself that question. I'm still asking myself that question. The empty nest syndrome, it's actually not a psychological syndrome. It's a phenomenon that takes place when kids leave the home. Sometimes as a single empty nester, you have a huge loss. You've lost your, your soulmate, so to speak, but it's not your spouse, it's your kids. And then once you know you're experiencing empty nest syndrome and people experience it in different ways, well, then you can do something about it. I know I experienced the empty nest different than my wife. She, uh, so she felt some real you know, deep, almost um, depression at times. And she had to reinvent what she was gonna do with life. For me, I just worked harder in the morning. I'd go to work earlier, I'd go to work later. And so I didn't think I was experiencing it. And then when I looked back, I went, wow, I'm bearing some of this pain in just working harder. It's important to prepare because you can almost find yourself in a depressed state. And I wasn't depressed, but I did find my, pl my place, I did find me in a place of sadness. But I found myself in a place of sadness because I felt disappointed. I felt disappointed in myself that how did I not know who I was? How did I allow the last 25 years of my life to be so consumed with three other people that I didn't take the time to know and get to know myself? But then the flip side of that was I was so angry when I became a young mother at 21. But now, when I turned 47 and I was preparing to be this empty nester, still such a, such a somewhat fairly young woman, I get to now have like all the things that I wanted to do or all the things that I thought I wanted to do when I was younger, now I have the position to be in a place that's so much better to receive those endeavors. You know, I don't know, no, I, I kind of do know. I don't believe that the things I know now would have been appreciated the same way in my 20s as I'm able to appreciate them now in my 40s getting into, going into my 50s. So I think that you know, the, the, the appreciation that comes with this time that comes with you focusing on being a parent, you're learning not just how to be a parent, but you're learning how to help these young people or these, these children become productive adults. But in teaching them to become productive adults, you're also becoming this productive adult because you're leading by example. Because how much do we all know in our 20s? So as young parents, yes, we're in this parental phase, but we're still new as adults. So we have to now take on this role of being responsible by leading by example, that the things that we learn in our parenting, we also get to help in our own development of who we are becoming as productive adults. Does that make sense? We've been in sole control, um, handling the day-to-day -day needs of our children for so long since the beginning that now them having to decide what they want to share with us is interesting. Like my, so I think that that's probably definitely one of the biggest struggles that we go through as empty nesters is now being this filtered parent, this selective parent where they get to decide what they want to share with us expert tips on dealing with the empty nest syndrome because this actually is a real thing this is not just you know something that we're pulling out of the sky and now making an excuse to feel sad or depressed or empty or lost this is actually something that both fathers and mothers go through they may go through it differently women may go through it differently than men doesn't mean that men don't feel a kind of way when their children are also out of the house. Women go through it differently because their roles or responsibilities with the caregiving is different from a father. So the pain and the loss is just as equal 
It's not one over the other because we might perform differently. The father might work more or the father might not work more, but be quiet because there's not as much instruction as going on. So now this gives time for these adult parents to actually get to know one another. So as we are getting to know ourselves, because I'm telling you, I'm in this place of, well, who is Kat? I'm not with my husband, my husband. I'm not in the same household with my partner. So that means that I'm in my house by myself. That means I'm in my house when it's quiet, just me alone. So what tips am I able to use for myself that I'm able to share with you? One, don't put your anxiety and stress onto them. I, I, yes, because they're excited. So we don't want to bust their bubble by having them worry about us worrying about them. Keep that to ourselves or share it with our component at home, like our husband or boyfriend or husband or wife. Don't put that anxiety on them. Repurpose yourself. We're going to come back to that one. Grieving the time that you thought you lost. <sighs> Woo. So the anchor was talking about, you know, her kids are 12, so she has some time. That's what we think. <laughs> 20, 25, and 28. Wait, what now? 20, 25, and 28. Wait, what now? Where did the time go? How do I have grown people? But I do. So I know I've thought to myself, I had to grieve, did I do enough? Did I teach them enough? Did I give them enough guide in their life to protect them, to cover them in their decision makings? I know I didn't want to bombard them with church, but did I teach them enough scripture? Did I teach them how to be good people? Did I teach them how to, you know, get up on time and, and be responsible for work? Did I teach them how to, you know, get on, um, be responsible for, you know, going to work, going to class, on time, doing your laundry, you know, maintaining your house? And I have to say, Isaiah checked me a few years ago when he was 18 years old. Isaiah, my oldest son, who's now 28, he said, Ma, trust what you have taught us. What's so weird and funny is that now that that parenting part of the foundation, because that's all that's done, that part of the parenting, now we're parenting adults, but that foundation, since that part is now done, when they said that it's time to repurpose yourself, they are, they are really right about that because that denial, that anger, that frustration really only becomes, really only comes from us not having or not knowing what to do with our time. Filling in our fingers like, okay, what to do? And that's where the denial, frustration, and anger comes from. Get to know yourself again. When I became a parent, I was 21 years old. I didn't probably know myself then. So now in my 40s, getting ready to go into 50, learning who Kat is, taking the time to figure out what you like. Hey, Kat, how you doing? What do you like? You know, um, find your passion or passions. You know, join a community organization, um, do some volunteering, reach out to your friends, reach out to your family, figure out how to now not only date yourself, but date your significant other again. You know, um, creating even now adult dating with your children. You know, the time that you want to still spend with them, even if they don't live in the same city with you, you still want to make those times. So like tomorrow night, you know, I'm going over my middle son house to make dinner at his house with him and his friend. And the next weekend, I'm going to my daughter's apartment and we have a uh, dinner scheduled. So making time to still not only date yourself, date your partner, but date your children as they are now adults outside of the household. Separate your worth from your work. Instead of diving into work like some of us, <laughs> I've done, learn how to 
in that getting to know process, like who Cat is, like who that empty nester is now. I don't know when to say becoming or now is. And then preserve. Preserve. Most things are more difficult and time consuming than they look. If you want to find your purpose in the emptiness, it will probably mean sticking with something longer than you initially think. Preserve and stick with it and seek out people who will cheer you on and encourage you in your pursuit. Enjoy the moment that we are in right now. Don't reject it because for everything, there was a season and appointed time. So the season of parenting, was that from birth to 18, 19, 20, whenever they left the house? And now it's time for this place of it's all about me. Delight in every event or purpose. So yes, embrace that sadness, but now I'm getting the opportunity to delight because this opportunity is still an opportunity for this next chapter in my life for me to still be an adult parent to adult children, but now I get to <laughs> Love on cat, learn cat, think about cat, make cat that priority. Woo, In Jesus name, amen, hallelujah.